It's good to have you with us at the Sauer. I'm Daniel Che here to provide you with the latest. President Bakunas' former senior secretary is brought in for questioning and an arrest warrant has been issued for two other former presidential aides with alleged links to a scandal that's gripping the nation on Sunday. Yoon Shin starts us off with the updates of the continued probe into the power abuse case surrounding the Bakunas administration and her close confidant, Che Sun Shin. Yet another of President Park Geun-hye's former top aides has been summoned by state prosecutors for questioning. The former senior secretary for civil affairs, Woo Byung-woo, appeared on Sunday at the Seoul Central District Prosecutor's Office to be interrogated over alleged corruption. Woo assured reporters he'll cooperate with the investigation, but was silent when asked about the details of the allegations against him. He's suspected of embezzling funds from his family-owned company, as well as abuse of authority. And on top of that, the latest reports say he also failed to disclose correctly the full value of his real estate properties. Wu resigned from his position a week ago, amid growing public outrage, along with several political figures suspected of influence peddling and embezzlement in relation to the scandal involving President Park's close confidant, Che sun -shil. The officials at the investigation into former Secretary Wu is expected to wrap up in about a week. Also earlier in the day, arrest warrants were issued for the former senior presidential secretary for policy coordination, An Jong-bam, and former presidential secretary, Chang ho sung after hours of interrogation that began on Saturday. An is said to have pressured big companies into donating to two government-linked organizations that Choi sun shil helped set up. And Chung's charges include leaking confidential presidential documents to Che. While the investigation of Che, the woman at the center of the scandal, is ongoing, officials say the probe into all of Che's associates will help determine just how deeply President Park was involved in the scandal. Yin Shin, Arirang News. Also, President Park is expected to call for meetings with the country's political parties this week in relation to her nominee for the post of prime minister. The opposition parties have been pledging to boycott the confirmation hearing of nominee Kim Byung-jun, saying the president did not consult with parliament before the announcement. Amid escalating public anger over the Che case, she carried out a series of personnel changes, made two televised apologies and said she would cooperate with prosecutors. Meanwhile, Han gwang -ok, the president's new chief of staff, said he feels the disappointment of the Korean people and understands the gravity of the situation. In a meeting of senior presidential secretaries, he called on the top aides to stay alert to prevent the scandal from dealing a blow to state affairs and to ensure the government's role is normalized. The United States is responding to the ongoing political scandal that's gripped Korea. According to White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest, the Seoul-Washington alliance remains strong and durable regardless. He was facing the press on Friday while traveling with President Barack Obama to North Carolina to support Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton. Ernest emphasized one of the hallmarks of a strong alliance is that it remains durable even when different people and different personalities are leading the countries. His comment was in response to a question from a reporter about whether Obama discussed the issue with his South Korean counterpart and whether he hopes to distance himself from Park or if he wants to see Park keep her post. Ernest added that Obama has not spoken with President Bakunas since the G20 summit in September but he worked effectively with not only Park but also her predecessors in terms of strengthening the alliance. Keeping our focus on the U.S., Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump was rushed off the stage by Secret Service amid a disturbance in the crowd, but it turned out to be a false alarm. At a campaign rally in Reno, Nevada, Saturday evening, an unidentified individual shouted, gun, during a scuffle with a man holding a sign reading, Republicans against Trump. The man with the sign was tackled by armed guards and was quickly taken out of the convention hall. Officials later reported the man was unarmed and no weapon was found at the scene. Both Trump and his Democrat rival Hillary Clinton have been making their final campaign stops in key battleground states to win over undecided voters and motivate their bases as the race for the White House enters its last few days. Voting begins on Tuesday, November 8th. Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi warned Islamic State militants in the city of Mosul to lay down their arms if they want to live as government-led forces close in on the country's second largest city. 
According to state media, the PM's message to the people was that the city will be liberated soon and government forces will not retreat. Mosul's been under ISIS control for more than two years, but the army said it's gained a foothold in the eastern suburbs and taken another town just south of it. Satellite images show the militants have set up barricades on key routes into the city and demolished buildings to clear their line of sight. Defense analysts say the fortification could pose a serious challenge to advancing forces who would likely face sniper fire, house-to-house -house fighting and booby traps once they get into the city. A state-run think tank says Korea's recovery momentum is weakening on the back of slow exports and slump in consumption. Kim min -ji looks into the discouraging digits. The momentum behind Korea's economic recovery appears to be slowing down. That's the assessment by the Korea Development Institute, which says the pace of recovery is being hurt by sagging exports coupled with a slump in domestic consumption. The KDI's latest report is gloomier than last month's, which said the recovery is holding steady at a modest rate. This time, though, the state-run think tank said growth has slowed down both in retail sales and the service sector and that they could drag on the overall economy. Retail sales fell 4.5 percent in September from the previous month, marking the biggest fall in nearly six years. Output in the service sector grew 2.8 percent on year in September, but that was slower than the 4.8 percent gain the month before. Exports, long the backbone of the economy, continued their downward streak in October, falling 3.2 percent. They've been declining for almost two years now, despite a brief rebound in August. Recent economic growth has been backed by construction and real estate. There needs to be a shift in focus to increasing investment and productivity, which will in turn lift production capacity. What's worrisome is that the institute does not expect conditions to improve anytime soon, with uncertainties here and abroad casting a shadow over the Korean economy. For one, a rate hike in the U.S. is looming, and that could impact Korea if it triggers a massive capital outflow from emerging markets. On top of that, the government's ongoing corporate restructuring drive is taking a toll on related industries, and the fallout from Samsung's termination of its Galaxy Note 7 is expected to continue for some time. Kim min -ji, Arirang News. Korean automakers appear to be doing well when it comes to going green. Data compiled by the Korea Automobile Manufacturers Association show Korea had the world's fifth largest eco-friendly auto market last year, despite its relatively small size overall. Some 42,000 green cars such as hybrid and electric vehicles were sold in the country last year, meaning a more than 17 percent jump from the year prior. But the figure accounts for a mere 1.8 percent of the combined 2.3 million such automobiles sold worldwide in 2015. Seoul has a long way to go to catch up to Tokyo, which leads the pack in more than 890,000 units. Though green vehicles make up barely 1 percent of all registered vehicles in Korea, analysts predict that number will increase drastically, especially with the strong government backing. A team of researchers in Korea have shed light on the role of the immune system in controlling cancer. Professor Ho Yong Suk and his team at Gongguk University looked at the molecular mechanisms underlying the therapeutic activity of monoclonal antibodies. That understanding is considered vital for improving the antibodies currently used in cancer therapy and developing more effective immunotherapeutic combination strategies. Those techniques are much needed as cancer cells can avoid immune surveillance, rendering certain therapies ineffective. Their discovery was published on October 31st in the multidisciplinary journal Nature Communications. Many people think that alcohol consumption is the main cause of liver diseases. However, recent studies show 90 percent of such diseases are caused by hepatitis B and C. Our Kim Mugen shares with us the latest findings. More than 20,000 people in Korea die every year due to liver-related diseases. As the liver is considered to be the silent organ because of the slow appearance of its symptoms, many people don't realize that something is wrong until it's too late. This is very dangerous as the fatality rate of liver cancer is the second highest next to lung cancer. A recent study held by the Korean Association for the Study of the Liver announced that the biggest factors that cause liver diseases are hepatitis B and C viruses. 
Researchers said that some 75 percent of patients suffering from liver cirrhosis or cancer in Korea developed it from hepatitis B and 15 percent from hepatitis C. What's surprising is that many people were unaware of the fact as they compare the danger of viruses as similar to or less important than smoking and obesity. According to a survey held by the association on more than 2,000 adults, when asked what is the main cause of liver cancer, 75 percent of respondents pointed to alcohol consumption, followed by smoking, hepatitis B and obesity in that order. Since effective medicines that can cure hepatitis patients are available nowadays, it's important to include checkups on hepatitis during nationwide physical health screenings. Experts say it's important to first increase the awareness of the risks and symptoms of hepatitis in order to prevent the increasing number of deaths from liver diseases. Kim mo Arirang News. And now the weather before we go. Fine dust in the air may have provided a challenge to Koreans, especially for those taking part in visuals in different parts of the country on Sunday morning. But air quality is much improved and will stay that way through Monday. Nationwide showers are expected on Tuesday, so be prepared for that. Temperature-wise, Seoul and Gwangju start the day at 10, Jeju at 14 degrees Celsius. The mercury will then rise all the way to 17 in the capital, 19 in both the City of Lights and the Southern Resort Island later in the evening. And now let's check out the weather conditions in your neck of the woods and around the world. That's all from us for now. We'll have more updates for you at 10 p.m. Korea time, so do join us then. Thank you for watching.